Digital's changing the automotive industry fundamentally and actually at its heart of, of how the business models of the car makers are operating. They are investing massively into software-based services, uh, into data-driven models. Ultimately, it's a race between the car makers and new market entrants, which are software companies, data managers, intermediaries, uh, who are all in that race for mobility services. People have a great desire to make use of the time they're spending in traffic and they will make use of the time the more their cars are running autonomously, consuming data, consuming information. The estimated size of the market by 2030 just for car data monetization services is at 750 billion US dollars. So the regulators are challenged and see the challenge of creating a framework that ensures a proper allocation of liability if things go wrong. They need to develop a framework which maintains a role for the driver to keep control over the vehicle. They need to make sure that the systems are safe and secure. They need to make sure there's protection against cyber risks. They need to make sure that the whole connectivity framework operates well. They need to make sure that the safety regulations are embedded into the software development. As of now, we have the Venue Convention on, on Road Traffic, which ensures and defines that the driver is and remains responsible of how the vehicle operates. Now with autonomous systems, it's a bit of a question of where he finds himself in that equation and whether autonomous systems themselves also uh, assume um, a certain degree of liability respectively of the operator or the vehicle owner for how these systems work. There will be difficult questions to solve. How do software systems react to hazardous situations? We see that regulators and lawmakers are pulling together ethical committees to discuss those situations and ultimately you will need to actually find a solution whereby the developer the software cannot be held liable for the solution that is put into the vehicle. So manufacturers need to create a close interaction between the development of technology, the regulatory requirements and the assessment of their market opportunities. And it is probably of high importance for manufacturers to have a close understanding of how the technology world works. Um, that's a learning curve. It's also important for the technology providers to understand the traditional car manufacturer ecosystem and logic. Uh, and only if you combine that, you will actually achieve that fruitful dialogue with the regulators, which they need to create the right framework. In addition, you look at insurance, you look at other players in the market who need to be involved because ultimately it's only a joint effort that can actually make autonomous drive and connected services work.